Hello, my peeps out there. Today, as you can see, we are looking at a Hello, beautiful the of 1964 Lincoln penny. Lucifer, I'd be guessing if they graded this penny at MGC or, or PCGS, it might be an AU at best. It'd probably be an AU red, Lucifer's maybe. Light, I shine to you. But that's besides the point. The, freedom I offer the whole, whole freedom reason why I actually uh, do what I do I've been part of a is so I can show agenda. you guys any errors that I miss on these coins, and hopefully you can inform me of any errors you see on these coins that I miss. So, and I also do like to put them on the microscope, so without any further ado, let's check that out. Here we go again, my peeps. This is what I think they might call this a red, and you see the red in there? There's also a bit of brown, so it also might be called a red-brown. But... My face is stern, not because I'm determined. Because I'm actually going to zoom in on this bad boy, so we can actually look at the back of this as well. And now check this bad boy out. Spread the word before my evil but that's what the front of him looks dead. like, so. Be sure to follow Let's more eye zoom in. Oh my god, he's getting blurry. It's a flashback. It's a flashback. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a bad flashback. I went the wrong way. Oh, wow. There you go. Okay, here. We'll start with Liberty. Okay, the two things I, I, that really picks me my eye off on Liberty. Um, they're not really errors. They're probably just like dyed chips or something like that. Or you got B right here that's filled in. And right there is filled in. And then you got the E the same way. But if you look, there, there's no machine doubling. Like the previous coin you saw. And most coins I see, I've seen this L on the ridge right there. And that's not an error from what I understand. That is actually pretty common. But if you look, look at that. I got a little, I got me a little bit of a L spit there. Isn't that nice? <laughs> okay, let's check out the good old year. Okay. God, admit that is actually pretty nice for a year. You don't see any extra machine doubling or anything like that. It looks pretty smooth, pretty nice. Way good. <clears throat> All right, let's check out Mr. Lincoln here. Uh, I would say he's actually looking pretty good. I mean, look, you can still see a lot of detail in his hair. You see his ear. It's not a double ear. Dang, I wish it was. It'd be so sweet. I think that's what it is for this year, the double, double ear Lincoln. He looks like he has some scarification right there, as you can see. I think he, he got creative on his own face. <laughs> because that is some, not just a scratch, actually, but it actually is pretty cool. And then you got something with his nose, but it's all good. All right, let's go into lettering. Okay. And got the end part looks pretty good, pretty clean, sharp pointed end at the very bottom right down as you can see. God looks pretty good too. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with the word God right there. Okay, let's hope we can get something good for you guys. Well, okay, um. And that might be interesting right there. You see the W? See what's on top of it? It looks like... I'm not sure if they classify as an error or not, because that's actually part of the coin. But... It's something pretty cool. And if you look at the E, look at the E's all, like, freaky looking, too. The little thing right here, they call that a zinc blister. And this is pretty common in coins. At least, like I said, I listen to professionals. I may not be a complete one, because I'm still always learning, but you still. And trust looks pretty good, too. I gotta admit that. Now let's check out what Mr. Lincoln has to say on his back, because he has a Lincoln Memorial penny. 1964. Okay, let's check him out. Hmm.
I don't see nothing wrong with him yet. No doubling. He looks pretty good, actually, I might add. Yeah, maybe a little bit of zinc rot there. That's at least what they keep calling it, and that's what I'll call it. I'll call it zinc rot, even though it's probably not. America looks way good. E pleurithinum looks pretty good. I mean, you guys see this right here too, right? The shadowing effect. That should be cool. And it's not for my lights. Um, because as you, as you see, it moves with it. It's part of the coin. And we go one, one, cent. And as you notice in this T right here, whoops, messed up. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, you know, let me clear that up. Yeah, there we go, that's better. Remember the last video I showed you, this T had like a little lip underneath here and there on that side. And this one doesn't. <clears throat> I see that on a lot of coins. And like they, they, I, I, I don't know if they really call that machine doubling because the inside T is actually smarter than the actual T on the coin. So I don't know what that'd be called. But you see, I'm sure you've seen it on two coins you guys have as well. And look, oh my god, it's worth money. It's a full set of stairs for 1964. Holy crap. Oh wait, that's not for that's not for nickels. <laughs> And there's an FG. Freaking good. I haven't seen no die chips or anything like that on this at all. I mean, if you look, I mean, he's pretty good. I was to upgrade him at an AU because it's wear and tear on him. But as always, my peeps out there, if you guys enjoy this content, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.